carrot and red beet buckwheat bowls. These savory bites contain buckwheat, an easy to digest fruit seed that is gluten free. You will need one quarter cup or 50 grams dried cannellini or white lima beans soaked overnight, about two thirds cup or 45 grams when cooked. 2 thirds cup or 100 grams buckwheat groats. 2 raw beets, unpeeled and coarsely chopped. About 1 cup or 175 grams prepared. 3 carrots, unpeeled and coarsely chopped. About 1 and a third cups or 175 grams prepared. 15 Brazil nuts. 2 tablespoons of whole hemp seeds. 4 garlic cloves, crushed. 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. 2 tablespoons apple cider vinegar, 4 tablespoons chopped parsley. Step 1. Drain the soaked cannellini beans and rinse under cold running water. Bring 1 and a quarter cups or 300 milliliters water to a boil in a saucepan and add the beans. Cover, return to a boil and simmer for 20 minutes until soft. Drain and set aside. If using lima beans, simmer for 40 to 60 minutes until soft. Step two, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Step three, rinse the buckwheat under cold running water. Bring one and a quarter cups or 300 milliliters water to a boil in a saucepan and add the buckwheat. Cover and simmer for 10 minutes until soft but not soggy. Drain and set aside. Step four, steam the beets and carrots for 15 to 20 minutes until soft. Step five, put the remaining ingredients, except the parsley, into a food processor and puree. Scrape the mixture into a bowl. Step six, divide it into two. Place half back in the food processor with the carrots and puree. Scrape into a clean bowl and set aside. Step seven, Put the beets and remaining mixture in the food processor and puree. Scrape into another bowl and set aside. Step eight, divide the buckwheat and parsley between the bowls, season with salt and pepper to taste and stir gently until combined. Step nine, line a large baking sheet with parchment paper. Divide the mixture into 16 even portions and roll into bowls. Step 10, bake for 20 minutes. Let cool for a few minutes on a wire rack before serving hot.